Hi everyone, welcome to another edition of the Outdoor Home Stay at Home Live Cooking Demonstration. I'm Dave, I get to be, with here, be here with you today. We're doing this 30 days in a row, coming at you every day at one o'clock, uh, trying to inspire you. Just because you have to be at home, stay at home, doesn't mean you have to stay in your home. So get outside, enjoy this lovely weather, get to cooking, whether it's a big green egg, a gas grill, a pellet cooker, we've got you taken care of, whether it's slump charcoal, spices, rubs, seasonings, pellets, propane gas exchange, and we're doing everything we can to keep you safe, whether it's delivery to Springfield and the surrounding areas, we can just roll up, drop off a prepaid order. Uh, we can do curbside. You might want to get out of the house, but not out of your car. Give us a call, stop at outdoorhome.com. Talk to the folks here. The team's ready and waiting for you, it's doing things to keep you safe. Prepay, pull up, we load it up. You don't have to get out of your car. Um, so thanks for joining us. I think we're gonna get started. Hopefully everyone's had time to join in. Uh, we're gonna do a really simple recipe. It's one of my favorites, feeds a lot of folks, uh, and you don't have to be a classically trained chef to get some wonderful results. It's called peach pineapple dump cake. I like it because I'm not doing a whole lot of measuring. I don't have mixers and you know blenders and all kinds of craziness like that. Um, we've got our egg set up for indirect cooking at 350 degrees. Don't forget, awesome grill. It's a smoker. Today it's an oven. Um, we've got the enamel coated Dutch oven. You saw Kenny use it on one of the previous videos. Um, he was rocking the lid as a baking dish. Uh, I'm not even going to use the lid today, but I'm going to take advantage of that enamel coating. Makes for a nice, easy cleanup. A very versatile accessory. Um, so let's get started. I've got my ingredients lined up. First thing we're going to do is we're going to take two large cans of peaches. These are the 29 ounce size. Uh, I've got one can where I, I had already drained the syrup. We're going to dump that right in there. The wonders of live TV. Normally you would like to get sliced peaches, but if you're not paying attention or you're easily distracted, I must have saw something shiny at the restaurant. So normally those would be sliced. They're still going to be awesome. Uh, one can is drained. One can is going in syrup and all. On top of that, we would add a smaller can. Usually I use the pineapple tidbits, but hey, in these times, I'm happy to find any pineapple out there at the grocery store. So I got the crushed pineapple and I'm just going to dump that right on top. No mixing, nothing too fancy, no stirring. Up next, we've got tapioca pudding mix. So get that out of the box. That's another reason why, if you have questions, uh, I would prefer, because again, I'm, sorry, squirrel. Uh, again, I'm easily distracted. So if you don't mind, go ahead and get those questions in there. I'll be checking comments after the video, days after, in fact. Uh, so I'll be happy to answer them, or someone from the Outdoor Home team will be happy to answer them as well. But I'm gonna save my answering of questions till later, just because it's probably better for all of us. Tapioca pudding. Just going to sprinkle that nice and even all the way around. Next step, butter yellow cake mix. Now I've seen a lot of great desserts pulled off on a big green egg. Um, you can certainly go homemade from scratch. I like to cheat a little and get some of the stuff done for me. So if you're using a mix, you know, this is an easy recipe. You can always make it more difficult more involved should you choose to do so. We're live, we're bumping in the hood, the neighborhood. All right, there we go. Okay, now it says just dump. I'm sorry, but I have to kind of just fluff a little to get it even because that's, I'm not, I'm not gonna say I'm OCD, just a little particular, that's how I do it. A cup and a half of brown sugar. And I'll be honest with you, sometimes I only use a cup pretty sweet. I love this brown sugar on top because this and a stick of butter that we're going to use, that's where the magic is going to be. I went ahead and pre-cut these into little pats of butter. So just one stick. Spread this nice and even. Now this is where the magic is going to come into play as this cooks. 
Some recipes will say to cook it with the lid on. I personally do not because what I like to do is let that heat get on there and create that nice crunchy goodness, if you will, with the sugar, the butter, and the mix all kind of infusing together. It's going to be great with some ice cream, whipped cream, or all by itself. This is a great one too. If you know we're ready to go and ready to put this on before I do, just tell you, if I were at my house, uh, this is a great recipe. If you've already got your egg locked in at 350 degrees, set up for indirect cooking, I'd probably bake this first. Pull it off. It's going to stay nice and warm with the lid on. At that point, I could do uh, a roast, a whole chicken, you know, uh, pork tenderloin, you name it, have some sweet potatoes or a side dish, maybe that mac and cheese Kenny was talking about the other day. Ooh, good. Uh, anything you would do in your oven, take it outside on your big green egg. Uh, we've got one already made using the magic of TV, so let's take a look and see how good this is going to be. Get rid of those gloves. Better go ahead and get this. Save those phalanges. Egg still locked in at 350 degrees. Look at that ooey, goodney, good, ooey gooey goodness. It's pretty delicious. I hope you give it a try. Super simple. Feed the whole crew some dessert. Oh, let me go ahead and put this one on. Get that ready for later. Oh, excuse me, I'm gonna sneak around. Again, if you have any questions, I mean, that's a pretty simple recipe. Don't hesitate to give us a call. Drop some questions in the comments. Give us a call at Outdoor Home. Go to OutdoorHome.com. Stay safe. Stay home. But don't stay in that home. Get outside and have some fun and cook something amazing. We'll see you next time. 1 o'clock.